it's against the law for your boss to ask for your genetic information. That's right. The law was tested for the first time in Atlanta last month in a case known as the mystery of the devious defecator. Exactly. I said that word. Two men sued their employer after submitting to DNA tests to prove that they weren't the ones leaving piles of feces around the company's facilities. Now both sides are due back in court today to decide damages. How's that for a setup? Yes. CBS News legal <laughs> analyst Ricky Kleeman is here with us now. Explain the, the basis for the lawsuit and what the judge's decision was here. We can think that the story is funny, but it wasn't funny to the two people whose DNA was taken. What happened here is the law has simply said you cannot, as an employer, discriminate against your employees because of something based in your genetics. And there's an obvious point of view here. For example, as a woman to a woman, um, I can say to you that if I have a gene for breast cancer, I don't want my employer to know that because my employer might decide that I might be at high risk uh, of leaving or getting ill. That we don't want employers to be able to say, well, we're not keeping those people around. So what the law was designed was to protect people's privacy and to protect their longevity in the workplace by saying a genetic test is a genetic test is a genetic test which is precisely what this judge found now here the employer was really doing something very benign the employer was saying I have this terrible circumstance. I will utter the same word. We had people who were defecating, leaving these piles, and they uh, said, this has got to stop. This is terrible conduct. So they suspected these two people, and they decided to take their DNA through a swab, a saliva swab. The only reason they wanted their DNA was to see if, in fact, they were the culprits. They were not. So they say they were subject to humiliation. And discrimination. Discrimination, but really it's the humiliation. But they were fired than the from their jobs. They are not fired, nothing happens to them. And also, Ricky, the company was, was arguing intent, right? They did not intend to use the information from the DNA samples to see whether they had where they were able to get you know prostate cancer or anything they exactly just wanted to know correct. if they were the culprits exactly correct so that's why i say the but the company's actions were benign the company is saying i got a problem here i have this terrible activity i want to solve my problem and we're just going to take this little swab and we're going to see if you're the guys mm -hmm. you're not the guys and we're going to be really nice to you um but the judge said uh, i don't care what the intent of the law was the result is the same thing. It didn't matter at all that the two employees willingly allowed their cheeks to be swapped for the DNA? Well, they willingly allowed, but they said that they felt that they really had to. They were they thought they were going to lose their jobs if they didn't. Of they course. were really they were the suspects. They were the suspects indeed. So what you wind up with is a good result. They weren't fired. So then why do they have a lawsuit? Well, because the law is really uh, black and white. The law says that you cannot take this genetic test. Now, this is what the judge found. You can expect that the company could decide to appeal that decision. What's going to trial today are the amount of damages. The amount of damages here may not be substantial at all because it really is about their humiliation. It is not so much about their invasion of privacy because the company says, look, we did not use this DNA for any other purpose. We didn't intend to use it for another purpose. We're not looking at their genetic traits. But ultimately, we all worry, I think, about our DNA being out there, and that if it's out there, someone can test it for any purpose that mm. they want, and we don't want that to happen as a society. All right, we'll be watching. We'll Ricky, be watching. Thank you, thank thank you, you so you. much. Thanks, Rick.